Hi, my name is Natalia Willette and I'm a real estate attorney here in the state of Florida. And today I wanted to talk to you about five very important reasons why a survey can save you thousands of dollars in unnecessary litigation expenses. So reason number one, meets and bounds descriptions are impossible to visualize correctly without one. It just, it's, you really have to draw things out in order to even get a general idea of what your parcel is supposed to look like. And without a proper surveyor who is aware of where your parcel starts in regards to a section, township, and range, you are just asking for trouble by not getting a proper survey of the parcel that you are intending to acquire. Number two, fences can be deceiving. Um, it is so frequent, I mean, more often than not, that fences are placed in the wrong place. Outside your property line, uh, going through several different neighboring parcels, tens to hundreds of feet away from where your actual boundaries are, so it should not be relied upon. A fence should not be relied upon to Think of that as the edge of your property, okay? So surveys necessary for that reason. And you're going to avoid a lot of possible litigation with your neighbors if you get a survey in advance. <clears throat> Number three, structures get built on neighboring property all the time. And it could be as simple as a shed that was built over your neighbor's parcel to the corner of your house being in your neighbor's lot. Um, there's many times in which variances are not going to be given for improper setbacks, for having property where it shouldn't be. Uh, and so those structures, including pools, um, would be known to you if you had gotten a survey prior to making an acquisition of property, which is often a person's largest investment in their lifetime. Number four, wells and septic tanks are not always obvious. And so if you're purchasing property with a well or septic tank, it's very important for you to know where those are relative to the structure of the property that you are acquiring, particularly if you want to build something else on that piece of land, whether it's a warehouse that you want to build, a pool, anything like that, you really need to make sure that you're not building it on the well or on the septic tank. <clears throat> And then number five, access paths are not always clear. So if you have a driveway that you use over and across your neighbor's land, and let's say that driveway looks to be 15, 20 feet wide, uh, that may not actually be how wide or the location even of your actual legal access under the legal description of the property that you're intending to acquire. It could be that that path is completely shifted by 10, 20, 30 feet from where you're supposed to actually be legally accessing your property. And so you can have tens of thousands, if not hundreds of thousands of dollars in, um, disputes regarding ingress and egress over and across your neighbor's land if you did not properly survey prior to to determine are you actually using the right access so those are again five key reasons to save you lots of money in litigation and you should really use the survey good luck out there investors